Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another beer review. And in this one, we have got a traditional beer brewed by a craft brewer. Um, quite local to me in there's but we're off to Roosters. And we have a best bitter from them, and it is a can of their Capability Brown. Super smashing great. Clocking in at 4% ABV. There you go. Um, it says, a classic best bitter, deep amber in colour, displaying classic English hedgerow hop <coughs> characteristics harnessed from a blend of Challenger Fuggles and Whitbread Goldings. So there you go. Um, most of these kind of like new, not new, craft brewers. You, I call them craft brewers, you know, small craft brewers. When they do traditional styles, it styles of beer. It, it most of them I've I've had, I have to say, have been very very good kind of like um, renditions of them. If you know what I mean, it's like um, <laughs> you, know, you know, talking metaphorically, it's like having a a, a brand new cutting edge boy band do a cover of an old seventies hit. If you know what I mean. <laughs> no. <laughs> Aroma. Yeah, slight sweet. You get a slight sweet alcohol aroma there. And you do get a slight... <sighs> slight woody aroma. I smell wood. <laughs> so let's pour it out. Roosters. What do I think of Roosters? I think they're, you know, a good brewery. Um, my favourite beer of theirs is the Baby Faced Assassin. I do like their Yankee. That was a good one as well. And yeah, good traditional brewery. So, stick it. Stick it there. Like you do. Be in a glass. Yeah, look at that. Traditional colour. Chestnutty colour for me thinning head um the aroma yeah slight multi bready aroma not much so coming from it time to go in cheers everybody For me, it's not big, big on flavour. You do get the very traditional bitter edge on the back end. Um, there is a thinness there. Um, it is quite pleasant. I mean, it's not... You know, the more I'm drinking it, I'm picking up the hedgerow hops, picking up that bitterness there. You, you know, it does taste very traditional. Um, very easy drinking. Very easy drinking. So I'm asking myself, have they pulled it off? Have they done a great version? A cover version of a traditional old tune, if you know what I mean. Um, to the degree they have. I mean, there's nothing really nasty about it. Um, when I'm drinking it, I'm comparing it to more established traditional beers I've had in the past. And does it stack up with them? Mm, slightly fall short for me. Um, but there's nothing kind of like um, nasty, metallic or anything like that about it. It is just, it does feel like, you know, a nice, easygoing bitter, you know. And you can't really, you know, there's nothing really to complain about apart from the slight thinness I'm getting. But it's down to the ABV, maybe. I'm not too sure, but... Overall, 
easy drinking, traditional taste notes. Say no more. <laughs> Say no more. Um, so it's doing what it says on the can, basically. So, boys and girls, would I recommend this beer? Yeah, give it a go. Tell me what you think. Uh, me personally, you know, it's, it's a little bit thin, but, give, you know, it's all right. You know, Capability Brown from Boosters yeah. It's traditional in every sense of the word. Thank you very much for watching this one. See you all for me next one. Cheers.